Did you find your pot of gold at the end of a rainbow today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's about as far as my knowledge goes about St. Patrick's Day. I was gonna try and say something in an Irish accent, but I should have listened to it first. Um, I am a good imitator, but my top of the morning to you didn't sound very good. It's a little too British. Um, so when I was thinking about it being St. Patrick's Day, uh, last St. Patrick's Day, I wore this hat a year ago and I just started on this crazy journey of talking on Facebook about my life and crying and telling revealing stories and in general being horrified um, about what I share and oh my gosh, why did I do that? And just, you know, it's a crazy journey. We all had a crazy last year, right? This was just the beginning of the pandemic and the quarantine and all that fun stuff was just starting. This time last year, one year ago, right? The world's a different place. I have gone through a lot, as I'm sure you have as well. And what I was thinking about, and actually I had it in my head to do this um, for a little bit, but what's so really scary and terrifying is whenever I talk about something on here, I then get the pleasure of really having to work on it. So, so often I call it having to put my money where my mouth is. Hmm. And this one's actually about... Ta da Money! <laughs> so what I... It was like a question that I felt like it was kind of posed to me and I'm gonna pose it to you and see um, what you think about it and what your choice would be and how you would handle it. So the, 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 the question would be, if you were asked and you get to choose, you get 100% to choose one or the other and they're both just a gift, you know, free, freely given gift. So the choice is either trusting God completely. So imagine that this is the Bible and that you are trusting God completely for the rest of your life. Like you're never gonna have a doubt. You're just gonna 100% trust in God or $10 million. So $10 million or trusting in God completely. Which one would you choose, right? Um, I would like to think that I would 100% choose trusting in God. Now, I hope I don't have to actually put my money where my mouth is, but people have this sometimes happen to them where God presents them with this whole trusting in me or trusting in what you think you want and need and what would make your life so much easier, right? Like we all would think, you know, $10 million is gonna make our life a lot easier, right? Right? But I believe, and why I would choose trusting in God is because in my experience, the gift of, of true faith and trusting God is priceless. What I find in his word and when I feel like he is giving me gifts and, and ministering to me and using other people to, to do his work here on earth, all those things are priceless treasure. The reality of what's inside of the Bible is like pure treasure, 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 beyond worth. And that, that, that money you know, this, this just, the, the, yeah, it might solve a few problems, but it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to, I mean, yes, it might make your life easier, but really in your head, it might not. Um, uh, there's the famous rap song, Mo Money, Mo Problems. Uh, I remember talking to someone whose um, income had greatly increased and I was like, oh, you know, so, so is it a lot easier, you know, do you not worry about things because you have extra money? And then she was like, no, you make more money, spend more money. It doesn't give you any more peace of mind, you know, more money, more problems. And so I just, I kept thinking of like the beauty of trusting in God and what that feels like. And, and, um, I know someone that they were working in a high powered business job. They were single, they were excelling in their career. They were doing fantastic. And they were given the opportunity to go to the South of France, um, 
and to stay in this like beautiful resort like on the ocean like it was just this like gorgeous um place they were gonna stay and they were gonna get paid buku bucks to do their job there for I think like two months it was a long time and they were gonna get paid a lot of money to do this <laughs> And at the same time, their church was having a mission trip and in which she would have to actually pay to go on the mission trip. And the mission trip was only, I think, like a week or maybe like 10 days. And, um, and it was going to cost thousands of dollars to go on the mission trip. And uh, this was a long time ago. And I'm pretty sure she asked my advice. And I do not remember what my advice was. I don't. I don't know if she does either. Um, I mean, now I would say, well, do whatever you feel like God is leading you to do. <laughs> but at the time, I might have said, are you kidding? Go to the south of France. Make thousands of dollars. Stay in a beautiful resort. Travel around Europe, you know. Woohoo, right? Uh, I might have really said that at the time. I don't recall. Um, but she chose to go on the mission trip. And before she went on the mission trip, the, the pastor that was like leading the mission trip um, was a single guy and she knew many of girls in the church and she's like, I for sure don't want to go on this mission trip and have a crush on this guy like everybody else, right? Like, so she said that, verbalized, you know, okay, I'm going to go on this mission trip, but I know I for sure don't want to get a crush on this pastor because like, no way. <laughs> Guess what happened? They met, they fell in love on, well, I mean, not just, it started on the mission trip. Married, happily married, you know, kids, the whole nine yards. So if she had chosen, trusting in God, and that's where her life went. What if she'd, what if she'd chosen the money? What if she'd chosen the south of France? I don't know how her life would have turned out, right? But she trusted in God and, and what he had for her. Because, you know, the earthly <laughs> desires would be south of France. But, but God had a totally different plan for her. And I just, I just wanted to encourage everybody to ask God to help them trust in him. Because for me, I've just been on this journey of him really testing that. Like, how much do I trust him? And what do I trust, you know, to him and um, with him and my future? And like all of this, doing this is trust in God. Because why on earth would I want to share all my troubles and my problems and my issues, right? Who does that? <laughs> Who tells embarrassing stories about themselves for no gain? What's my gain? I don't get any gain out of this. Humiliation, embarrassment, crying um, <laughs> in a public forum. You know, the only gain I get is just trusting God that somehow he's using me. That somehow it's for his glory. That somehow sharing my heart on here, he can use. Because it's not up to me. I cannot touch your heart. Only God can touch your heart. Only his word can move in your heart and cause transformation and change. And so I just want to encourage you to get in his word to read your Bible. If, if if anything, just the fact that I read the Bible on here every day, that's something. That's good. <laughs> you hearing his word, that's good. And I'm trusting in him to do it and to, to use it somehow. But so the scripture verse that came to mind was, um, some trust in chariots and some in horses. And, and, you know, it's saying, who do you put your trust in? You know, that some people, do you trust in, you know, Mercedes Benz and Tesla, you know? Or do you trust in God? Like, where do you put um, your trust, your real, real trust? And uh, I looked it up in the Passion Version and in my regular version. And I'm so used to the regular um, NIV version that I, it just, I'm partial to it, right? It's the one that I know and love. So Psalm 20 one, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart. 
and make all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He answers him from his holy heaven with the saving power of his right hand. Some try Oh, ironic. It was the person I was talking about. Huh. Okay, here's the good part. So Psalm 26, or seven now, sorry. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. O Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call. The horses and the chariots are going to fall, but we're going to rise up and stand firm. So Lord, help us. Help us to make the right choices when it's between trusting in you and, and in personal gain. Help us to trust in you and, and listen to how you want us to make decisions and where you lead us and how you want to use us. And let's put our trust in you and not in money and things that aren't of real value. Lord, help us to set our eyes on you and to hear your call and to stand firm and cry to you in our time of distress. In your name we pray. Amen.